Mailbag time here on the 49ers Report by Chat Sports. My name is Chase Senior. Hope everybody had a great week and having a fantastic weekend. Game day coming up on Sunday against the Denver Broncos. Sunday night football. We'll be doing a watch party, and that's why you subscribe, because the versatility to our game, like Debo Samuels. We do watch parties. We do live shows, breaking news, rumors, trade segments, creativity, all abound. Hit that red sub button if you want more coverage like this. Start off this mailbag with this $5 Super Chat coming in from Justin Lee. Trade Kyle Shanahan and hire Sean Payton. I saw Grant Cohn tweet this the other day. And look, people can have their thoughts on Kyle Shanahan. I think that Kyle Shanahan is one of the best coaches in the NFL. Last year, among all positional rankings, including coaches, he ranked at number eight. He has a creative offensive mind. This is a formula that has worked for the 49ers. Two NFC Championship games over the last three years. Do you understand how hard it is to hit on a coach like Kyle Shanahan? Now, yeah, he can be a little bit short and rude with the media, but it's not Bill Belichickian by any means. And to have a coach like this, this is a luxury. Players really like him. The 49ers culture has been good. They've hit on a lot of draft picks. The development of players has certainly taken place. Most notably, though, a lot of success. Two NFC title games over the last three years. Now, the lack of development for Trey Lance, a little bit of a concern. But with Jimmy Garoppolo, Garoppolo's helped lead the Niners to 71% wins in a lot of his starts. And Shanahan is a very good coach. Do we forget how bad the tenures were for Jim Tom Sula and Chip Kelly? I mean, this franchise was in shambles. This franchise was in disarray before Kyle Shanahan came here. And he's helped really turn it around. So, no, I wouldn't do it. Although, if he wanted to leave, trade for uh, hire Sean Payton, trade Kyle Shanahan. If he wanted to dip out, hey, Sean Payton would be up there on my list of head coaching candidates. Another $5 Super Chat coming in from Garcia Brothers. Chase, do you think that... Mike purposely called more running plays to cost Lance the injury to put Jimmy in because Mike doesn't trust Lance and Jimmy is his boy. So you're talking about Kyle Shanahan, not his dad, Mike Shanahan, because he's not on the staff. I do not think that this injury is the fault of Kyle Shanahan. If you watch the play calling from Shanny for Trey Lance, he lacks trust in him as a passer. And when you have a quarterback who is a good runner of the football who ran for nearly, what, 2,000 yards at North Dakota State in just 19 career starts and at the NFL level offers you that diversification to your offense and makes your offense less predictable and a little bit more explosive, then you're going to utilize him. I mean, look, I know the Buffalo Bills don't run Josh Allen as much, but they run a lot of the same inside powers as what Shanahan did with Trey Lance. Did you watch Monday Night Football? Jalen Hurts balling out, accounting for three touchdowns. Once again, back-to-back -back weeks, more than 50 yards rushing with several carries. He adds a different element to the offense, and Lance does that as well. Injuries happen. It's part of the NFL. Make sure you subscribe to the 49ers Report. What's awesome? We continue to be the largest Niners News and Rumors channel out there on YouTube with 63,200 subscribers. People tuned in worldwide in just this month alone, 2,000 subscribers. Let's continue to grow and take over NFL coverage here on YouTube. Hit that red sub button. Greatly appreciate all of the support. Evan Hinders with this one. Should they bring back Josh Norman or sign Joe Hayden? No need. No need. Not many injuries at defensive back. Jason Brett's going to come off pup. Um... So, too, is Jimmy Ward. So the secondary is actually going to get reinforcements, which is really good for this defense that statistically right now is tops in the NFL. Christian, next up on the Niners report, why haven't we heard anything about Drake Jackson? He's played pretty well, actually. He's been in there for some snaps, and he hasn't had his first career sack yet, but he's been active on some plays behind the line of scrimmage, both in the pass game and the ground game, getting a couple of quarterback pressures. I actually kind of like what I've seen from Drake Jackson, but he's a rookie, and Samson Ebucom is probably the biggest reason for why we're not seeing more Drake Jackson. Samson Ebucom is playing really well. Charles Amenihu is as well, um, so they're in front of Drake Jackson. So that's why I haven't heard as much from the Rook up to this point. What Noodle 187 who are your MVPs so far? That's a good question. MVPs so far for San Francisco, Talanoa Hufanga, probably my number one MVP. Nick Bose is a close second just because of the attention that he receives and his impact on games. 
I would go those two. I think it's Talanoa Hufanga. I think it's Nick Bosa, both defensive players. Tuck Wyatt, do you worry about Trey becoming RG3? Thoughts on Jimmy's run plays versus Seattle. Jimmy was number 13 QBR as a mid-quarterback. Should every quarterback thrive in San Francisco because top three wide receivers, top one tight end, and a good run offense? So Garoppolo is just somewhat limited. And he doesn't throw the ball downfield as much. So that's why this offense is limited. And that's why with Jimmy G, they're a little bit more conservative. Now, what I like from Garoppolo from Sunday's game against Seattle, he did take some shots downfield. Now, the throws weren't great, but at least he was taking those shots. Because at the very least, a wide receiver tries to come back for a ball, and you get a P.I. So that's a free gain right there. As for being concerned about Trey becoming the next RG3, I am very, very concerned. I worry that this completely derails and curtails his development. We know that Trey Lance needs to play. And now, going back to 2019, he has not made many starts in his NFL career. And now he's losing more reps, and that's not ideal for his development. Saltwater Silver, I don't think Kyle will be fired. If he does, would you like to see Jim Harbaugh back? Uh, does he want to come back, and do the owners want him back? Uh, that's really what it comes down to. Um, you know, obviously there was a rift there, which ended his tenure. Can you imagine, too, making a business decision? Jed York going from Jim Harbaugh to Ch Jim Tom Sula? Like, did you just like Tom Sula because his name was Jim, too? Straight up disaster. I think Harbaugh likes Michigan, though. I don't think that he'd want to come back, but he is a very, 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 very good coach. If you love the San Francisco 49ers, want to hear from you right now, hit that thumbs up icon and type F. TTB, faithful to the bay if you love this football team. We move forward with this mailbag interacting with the awesome fans, Ultimate Killer. Any ideas on why the Niners get injured so much? Part of it is because Kyle Shanahan plays physically. That's the brand and style of football that he likes to deploy. Um, and also it comes down to bad luck. But ever since that he has been here, Kyle Shanahan, since 2017, San Francisco has been top 10 in injuries every single year. Not ideal at all. You know what's ideal? If you like betting on football, signing up with our sportsbook partner, BetUS, chatsports.com slash 49bet. Promo code Niners125. You put in $100, you get $125 back. Week three odds on the road against the Denver Broncos, over under 45. So it's going to be yet another Low-scoring game, at least the odds makers think so. And then 49ers are the favorites by a point. So usually home teams get about two to three points. San Francisco, if they were at home, they'd be field goal four-point favorites. Andrew Lucero, everyone knows Peyton's coaching in Dallas next year. I said it right when he retired. I'm like, wait, so Sean Payton, one of the best coaches that we've seen in a long time, is just going to retire and walk away from a roster that's really good? He sees the writing on the wall. He saw the Cowboys choke once again. He sees that Mike McCarthy ain't it. He sees that he's a better coach than Mike McCarthy. He has a crib here. His daughter used to work for us here at Chat Sports. So he has a house in the DFW area and has ties and used to be an assistant coach under Bill Parcells with the Dallas Cowboys. I think that's what's going to happen. Juanito, Nicky Bosa the Bear, best player so far. His pressures and presence allows all other 10 players to reap the rewards. You made a great point. Shoot, Juanito, I can make you the host of the 49ers report. My thoughts exactly. Just the attention that he requires when he's on the field is special. Um, so, you know, Nick Bosa is just one of the best defenders in the NFL. And, again, his sheer presence causes offensive linemen to shift their attention out that way. And even when he's not generating sacks, he's hitting quarterbacks, he's getting pressure. Who do you think is the best player on the Niners right now? Trizzy Trace with a good question following that last one. I think up to this point, the two best players, Nick Bosa, Talanoa Hufonga. You let me know in the comments section right now and appreciate all of you for joining the mailbag.